Welcome back to Square Off. We need water to survive, but did you know we also need it to save our memes, our selfies, our cute baby videos? Massive data centers going up all over the valley are warehouses for our social media lives. Their computer servers that store the data are water guzzlers. But with Arizona facing a water shortage, should a diminishing supply be diverted to data centers? Team 12's William Pitts takes a closer look at the impact of these large water users in our new series, Running Dry. How much water is your cat video worth? It could live here, in a massive building in Mesa. Construction equipment everywhere, cranes and workers putting up walls. The whole thing will be a Facebook data center at Ellsworth and Elliott. That's a lot of data, a lot of servers, and they need a lot of water. Servers generate a lot of heat. Data centers have to keep them cool or they'll shut down. Most either use electric air conditioning or evaporative cooling, water. We all love the fact that we can store a lot of data and we don't uh, think much about the water footprint of, you know, every selfie. Sarah Porter is the director of the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU. She says the real problem is that water is an investment and data centers typically don't give back much. They only employ a few people for such a large building. I mean, there are other industries that could move in and use the same amount of water or even less water um, and provide many more jobs or other types of revenue for a city. But at least one East Valley city decided they do want to make data centers BYOW, bring their own water. The way our policy works is they either have to show a value, which is employment, and if they don't have that, then they have to bring their own water supply. Chandler passed a policy in 2015 that required water-cooled data centers to either replace real water or buy water credits. And what's happened is they haven't really grown in Chandler. There could have been a concern over saying no to business, any business, but that didn't happen. A little concern it would have a negative um, perception that Chandler didn't have water, but it was opposite. We had the water. We just wanted to make sure we used it appropriately. Tech companies have been trying to find other ways to cool data centers for years. Microsoft has tried sinking smaller data centers into the ocean to cool them. The company said it's worked in the past. Now they're trying a larger test in the Orkney Islands off the Scottish coast. Other companies have tried heat absorbing oil, but the vast majority of data centers use evaporative coolers, and that takes water. And even if ocean cooling can work, it would be expensive to move every data center that's already built. The companies themselves are also more conscious than ever. And we're seeing big companies think very carefully about the, their use of water resources and, their, um, and the optics, I think, of moving in and taking up a big chunk. No one in Arizona has limitless water supplies. This huge building, almost a million square feet, will only employ 100 people when it's done, according to Facebook. But the company has said the new data center will use 60% less water than a typical data center. And they've said they would invest in projects that would restore 200 million gallons of water per year. Facebook says that's more than the data center will use. Still, it's planned to be another data center like those all over the Southwest, all using some amount of water to keep your videos and photos online. William Pitts, 12 News. Get used to more talk about conserving water in your community. Drought conditions are forcing the city of Mesa to declare a water shortage and start cutting back water usage at city facilities. Arizona's third largest city says these are stage one water restrictions. Mesa residents are being asked to cut back where they can. But future restrictions could include limits on washing cars, watering lawns, and filling your backyard pool. If you've been following 12 News coverage of our water shortage, you know by now that policymakers and experts agree we'll have to cut back on our water use. Our largest water source on the Colorado River is shrinking to historic lows amid the worst drought in more than 1,000 years. You can check out all of our water coverage at 12news.com slash waterwars.